yo, yo, what's good guys, what's good guys? On today's episode of Quarantine Sessions EP4, I'm going to be showing you how to make beats starting with voice memos. So basically, I was going through my phone randomly and I was in my voice memos and I come across some, some beatboxing I was doing in 2017. And I'm assuming that I wasn't able to get to my computer at the time and I was out and about. So I just wanted to get the idea out there. So I thought it would be a good idea to actually make a beat from it and show you the process of how you can do it. So what I did was I imported the voice memo and it managed to loop around 103 BPM. And I used the online audio converter to put it in because uh, for whatever reason, voice memos or some weird file. So that's the first thing you need to do. And yeah, 103 BPM, it managed to loop. Bear in mind, this is a beatbox. So it's not going to be on tempo. So yeah, this is what it looped at. So what I wanted to do afterwards was find the tonality of my voice um, and find the key that I'm beatboxing in. And it come to E minor. And the way I find this out was by using the 808 and pitching it all the way up until it was in key. So what I did afterwards was I firstly set it up to 105 BPM because I knew that was what I wanted to do and I muted this. I then pitched down the 808 and wanted to make a beat with this progression. So after that, I wanted to add some hi-hats. So with the hi-hats, I got inspired to do the start off from the beatbox itself and that's what I was talking about in terms of rhythm that I want to use the rhythm in the beatbox to find new pockets. So evidently you can tell that I'm starting off with the drums with the beat and I know some producers don't really like doing this at all, it's kind of weird. And yeah, this is all about just changing things up. I don't mind either way, as long as it's a good final product. And yeah, this is the drums. So after that, I used the 808 pretty much as the melody and I brought in Scalar as I wanted to use some chords. Obviously I knew I'd be using E and B but I thought what can I do to mix it up. I used A minor and it says D major but I don't think I used D major in the end. Uh, yeah I did in the end on the last 8 bar. But yeah, so then this is what it sounds with the guitar.
and from there I added a arc with the guitar melody and I can't remember how I did this if I did it singular or if I press control A yeah control A FL tip there this is the art by itself and this is with the guitar this is the art with the guitar chords And then after that, I added a vocal. And the vocal is from Arcade. The Arcade is super helpful. It's got the key there, E minor. And this is what it sounds with the e vocal. I sign changed it to have a bit more reverb and delay. And Arcade allows you to do this anyway, but I like to use my own vocal chain because I just know how to tweak it perfectly. And from there, this is the final beat. Thank you for watching guys. If you like this video, please let me know in the comments. Please like, share and subscribe, all of that good stuff, you feel me? And if you feel there's anything I can do to improve the quality of the video or the content, please let me know in the comments also.